What is up, guys and gals? I know I started a couple minutes early, but this is going to be the new regularly scheduled format. I'm going to have a little overlay screen in the beginning just to say it right off the bat. But 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time during the week, so Monday through Friday, is going to be the new schedule. And then on the weekends, it's pretty much just going to be up in the air. Um, but yeah, so you're here, you're at the right place, and as normal, we'll roll through the normal, regularly scheduled content in the first 10 minutes, roughly, give or take, of the video, and I will not be reacting to the live stream for the benefit of the people who are going to be watching this video after the fact and not live with us. So let's roll on over to something that literally just happened um, in the last, I don't know, 30, not even 30 minutes. Uh, Bitcoin is almost $6,800 right now. Uh, and if we go to the one day, look at this. Look at this pump we just had. Oh my gosh. So hopefully, uh, hopefully you had some money in Bitcoin. I know I had some money in Bitcoin, but mine is definitely spread out. Uh, we have not seen the pumps follow on all the alts yet, but uh, we will be soon. We will be soon. So uh, for right now. If you got money in Bitcoin, be happy. Ethereum looking like we're going to peak back over three hundred dollars. Is at two ninety four at the moment. Uh, Litecoin's at fifty eight. Monero's at ninety seven, and uh, Ethereum Classic's at thirteen twenty two. So that's just the uh, the top little couple coins off the bat. Let's go over to the daily hash rates for the cards, and we have a green day. A lot of this is due to the fact that Bitcoin just uh, just started pumping and everything started following it. I mean, we were still green, but definitely not this green. Um, so we're looking at, uh, if you notice, my 1052 gigs are on Ether 1 now. Yes, that is a video that's going to be coming out um, either tomorrow or the following day. But that is profitable. Uh, just to take a look back, I think yesterday we were doing like 20 cents a day mining uh, Lyra 2 Rev with the two, 1052 gigs. So right off the bat, they're making a little bit more money on Ether 1. Uh, and that's while Ether 1's only at worth 4 cents a coin. So it's an opportunity to stack up some coin on that. I uh, don't know how long I'm going to be on that or not, but just for right now, it's at 24 cents a day. Uh, the 1050 Ti's are at 29 cents a day. The 1066 gigs, 47 cents a day. The 1063 gigs, they're still on Lyra 2 Rev. I'm going I'm to be trying those out on Ether 1 also, but for right now, they are at 31 cents a day. Uh, 1070, 63, 1080, 73 cents a day. 560 is 29 cents a day also. 570 is 60. 580 is 65. And the R9 290X is back up and running in my main system. I'm mining on it when I'm not using it, and it's making about 61 cents a day uh, if it was to run for a full 24 hours. Um, so the biggest winner for today was the uh, RX 564 gig. Went from 27 cents to 29 cents was a 7.41% uh, increase, which is also the same for the 1050 Ti. Um, and the biggest loser, I guess the, the, the 1052 gig and the R9290X don't count. They don't have a percentage because they I just turned them back on. But the, uh, the smallest gainer is the 1063 gig on Lyra 2 Rev, going from 30 cents to 31 cents a day. So um, this is a breakdown of each and every single one of the card I own. Uh, currently what it's making today in US dollar, previous day, the percent of change, algorithms, speed, Satoshi value per day, estimated power cost at full power. I don't give you the power cost for uh, undervolted cards um, and at nine cents per kilowatt hour and that's profit versus power. So there it is. If you want to look more in depth in it, you can go ahead and pause the stream or pause the video now. If not, we'll roll on over to the deal of the day. Um, and guys, uh, right now, it's kind of hard to find brand new deal of the days because we just had these new cards drop as in the 2080s and 2070s. Um, really be looking and be mindful on eBay, Craigslist, your local, whatever people sell stuff local to you because there's a lot of good deals going down and they're going down really fast. I was watching eBay earlier today and people are sniping 1070s in the $200 range. The problem is I can't really feature something like that because they're up and gone so fast. Uh, but something that is a pretty good buy uh, from an actual retailer, $249.99. Uh, these were $230 a couple days ago. They went out of stock. They came back, and they're they're $249 now. But this is the dual BIOS RX 580. It's got a mining uh, BIOS mod, I guess you can call it, or a mining BIOS already on it. It's an 8-gig card. Um, yeah, see, dual BIOS. These do about 29 to 30 mega hash out of the box, confirmed by somebody in the last video when I featured these. 
So these will be on the down below in the description and Amazon affiliate link for them. Um, yeah, so uh, solid little cards. And if you're afraid of BIOS modding a card, you can just grab these. You flip the switch on the BIOS. There's a little BIOS switch on it. You flip that and you're good to go. You don't have to mod anything. Just overclock it. So no flashing. Um, as for the rig of the day, we'll go over to the Branding Coin Reddit. If you want to get your rig featured, all you got to do is go to reddit.com slash r slash branding coin or click down below in the description, down below, um, and uh, post up some pictures and a little description of it. This is submitted five days ago by deleted. Oh, I think that was the same one. Guys, are we out of rigs to review? No. Hey, people of the live stream, and people also who are going to be watching this video after the fact, please come show me your rigs. For the for the uh, enjoyment of everybody, I would love to see anything and everything you have. Uh, I, guys, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's one that we have not already looked at. There's not nightmare mining stories thread. That is interesting. Let's read a mining story instead. Well, I'll substitute out Rig of the Day with a mining story. Um, to bring up morale of GPU mining sub, got any funny stories or nightmares experience with list mining? Here's mine. Built an uh, 8 cards AMD rig, 1200 watt power supply, and a 650 watt power supply. Didn't have a kilowatt. Got, got one the other day. Measured two loads on both PSUs. Server one was in within threshold 580 at peak. Measured the 650, 780 at peak. How is it not burst into flames? LOL. Anyway, I moved some stuff around, and now the load is balanced across both power supplies. I'm so dumb. Get a kilowatt meter first if you're going to build a rig. Wow, you're pushing a, a 650 up to 780. Uh, I know they can do it, but I wouldn't want to do it for long. That's definitely asking for uh, for problems. I'm actually going to uh, I'm going to bookmark this Reddit for later. So, as for that, guys, that is going to be the end of the regularly scheduled content. Now we're transitioning over to um, the back and forth live stream, kind of interacting, talking about upcoming stuff. So if you want to stay along and you're watching this video after the fact, um, I'll try to narrate it as best as possible so you know what's going on. You don't have to like read every single message over to the side. Uh, so let me get caught up on the actual chat here. What is up, Alex Gillian? Mo Jack, what happened to the price of Bitcoin? The price of Bitcoin just, it took off like a rocket, man. Uh, Bitcoin Jake, welcome, welcome. D Tech, Benjamin Curtis, Vicky, uh, Bitcoin J, let's see here. Saw the pump, got excited, saw Brandon was live, got excited, saw my case of beer was empty, got sad. Fishmonger, welcome to the live stream, brother. Um, if everybody would, go ahead and drop us some likes. That way, hopefully, um, YouTube will be nice and feature me a little bit more maybe uh just send you know that i'm live to the people that are subscribed to me that would be awesome because a lot of people don't even know i go live uh there's people in here a couple of days ago and they're like when did you start going live and i'm like well, i've only been doing it you know like every day for probably the last couple weeks no big deal um razor hey brandon what are you mining the rx 580 on i have my 580s on ethereum through ether mine they're just mining straight ethereum uh youtube watcher howdy peeps what is up man Mr. C, Milk Crate Rig posted by Little C in the Discord. Oh, man, I don't have the Discord open currently. Um, Mr. C, tell Little C to drop that in the Reddit, man. And we can get it hooked up. Two Divine, hey, man, I'm mining MBTC, Mo, Micro Bitcoin. Nice, nice to hear some people jumping on that before. Because uh, on their website, like if you go to... And micro Bitcoin it still doesn't even really show the pools or anything so if somebody wants to actually mine this and they don't know about it um, what I, I would still consider it like very early on like see coming soon uh, explorers coming soon like it's still early you know what I mean um, this is not gonna be the masses have not jumped on this yet but um, if it's gonna go anywhere that'd be awesome and we'll just see We'll just see. Uh, another one I'm looking into is Ether One. Also, that's what I'm I'm putting my my two gig two gig cards on. Mr. Roberts, welcome, welcome, old school gamer X. Nice to see you here again, Robert Burns. I see all these familiar faces like every single day. It's it's a uh, it's feeling like a, a regular thing now. 
YouTube watcher. I was running GTX 1050 Ti's on a 300 watt pulling 248 watts. Replaced the power supply Friday when it was ticking. Your power supply was ticking. That's bad. That is bad. DTech, you should look up Coinbase Pro. Alrighty. Let me uh, let me do that off screen just because I don't really use Coinbase Pro much. I don't know if it's going to leak any vital information that most people don't already know. Uh, what are we looking at on here? Um, are we just talking about the uh, like Bitcoin at six thousand seven hundred and forty? Detect. Brandon, how come you don't have your stickers up on the wall in the background? Well, uh, we agreed that that side of the the room is her side, so I can't really go and sticker that up because she's got like pictures and mirrors and stuff. But uh, I'm working on potentially uh, rearranging this setup, and she wants to expand her like little office desk area. So I'm gonna be moving her into the other side of the house, and that means I get to take over uh, my office because she's kind of she's encroaching on my land on my property uh, but yeah uh, all my stickers currently right now other than the ones I have stuck to my computer because I want to stick them somewhere that's like high visibility as I stick them on my nitrous tank so you know got the uh, the where are we at here I can't, I can't see myself got the, the like, got crypto sticker Brandon coin sticker can't have meth without ETH sticker um, Another Brandon Coin sticker, and then the new Miners Guild Brandon Coin sticker, the big shield. Um, link down below in the description. It is the Etsy link. All the stickers are made in house by my girlfriend. So if you buy a sticker, it keeps her busy. And I personally thank you, thank you. You know what I mean? Thank you. Um, are you still gonna make a video for MBTC mining for AMD? Iron Robs. Uh, the thing about that is. AMD is just not as good at mining it. It doesn't make sense to necessarily mine it on AMD. Um, everybody that I've run into, like, it can mine it, but what you're actually earning on it, it's it's not worth it. Like, you could go buy some NVIDIA cards, like, really cheap and make a ton more. Uh, somebody said that they were, like, RX 570. Sorry, my headphone or my headset just fell. RX 570 was getting, like, 2 mega hash. Whereas like a 1050, it's like 10. So is it worth your time to do that? I, I don't really don't think so. Uh, let's see here. Robert Burns just uploaded rig photos to Reddit for you. Robert Burns, we will be looking at yours tomorrow. YouTube watcher just relaxing, drove back from Ohio. Oh man, that's a, that's a drive right there. Hopefully you didn't drive too far. I don't know where you're going, but... Where did you come from? Where did you go? Are we concerned about other micro Bitcoin and micro BTC that already exist? Benjamin Curtis, the other micro Bitcoin or micro BTC, as you call it, um, that was, I believe, a US based uh, venture. Whereas the micro Bitcoin that I have shown and done a mining review on is a South Korean based venture. And uh, from what I understand, they're looking to launch and stay in the Asian market, so to speak. I mean, it's a worldwide network, but. Um, apparently that they you know that's going to be its thing so over there it's not really acknowledged because uh, the other micro bitcoin is not got all the translations and all that kind of stuff so we're actually lucky to get any kind of English website to begin with uh, let's see here didn't expect to see NOS. Well, too divine. I am a car guy, so always got car parts hanging around. Um, so, yeah. At Bitcoin Jake09, is that recreational? At Bitcoin Jake, are you talking about my nitrous oxide? Because uh, that is for a car. So, I guess you could say it's recreational. Uh, right now, I'm in between. Uh, I just built a new motor, got it in my car, and I'm waiting to get it tuned on the turbo before I put nitrous back on anything. 
Guys, do you think that it's a last month of profitable GPU mining? Ugly A2 820. If it was the last month of profitable GPU mining, I would have sold my stuff out. I don't think it is. Uh, we may dip down and be right on that line of like break even, but if you're if you are able to, I know everybody can't, but if you're able to actually hold on to your coin, we're going up. We're we're going to be laughing about this in in a little while. You know what I mean? We're we're going to be making money. YouTube watcher Brandon Coin, which did you send me? I just got back in town. YouTube watcher, I'm not sure. I don't remember. Uh, I actually don't do any of the sending out and that, the coins and that kind of thing. Benjamin Curtis, it's like Raven. AMD will do it, but not worth it. Correct, yes, Benjamin Curtis. Thanks for that info. YouTube watcher, 12-hour drive, tow to vehicle on the way up. Woo, 12-hour drive. That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's no small feat right there. Let me pull this back up for anybody that's just joining the live stream. Let's see here. You quoted Cotton Eye Joe. Mr. C caught it. You caught it. That he did. Yep. Brandon lives in the fast lane. No, I live in the blown up lane. I'm good at blowing up motors in my cars. And if you want to find out, you can actually go over to Motor Nubs. I have a YouTube channel. And um, in the last year, I think I've been through three motors in uh, my my Integra alone. I went through a motor in my WRX, my Subaru. So I'm, I'm good at blowing up motors. Turn the boost up and let them, let them sing. Uh, nice make model. I'm waiting on my 98 Subaru Forester rebuild. Um, I had a 03 Subaru WRX that I had a built block. It, uh, Wiseco pistons, eagle rods, um, ARP head studs. You know, just an, a normal build. It was a factory block. Um, I did a 20G turbo, so bigger stock location turbo, and I ended up making like 330, 340 all-wheel horsepower on that uh, because I blew the stock <laughs> the stock block up after I strapped the big turbo to it. It actually cracked a ringland. Uh, still ran, but it smoked like crazy. And then I have a 95. I sold that, and then right now I have a 95 Integra that I keep I keep uh, turboing and, and blowing up. Sorry to get on on off on cars. I love cars. And yes, Sokor Jikai, smack that like button. Yes, guys, smash the like button, but do not smash your actual computer. Just click it, nicely click on the like button. Robert Burns, I repasted my RX 480 today, got mining temperature down 9 degrees Celsius to 71. Whoa, why is your 480 at 71? Holy smokes, that seems hot, man. That seems really hot. Jeff Bonds, Brandon, what do you know about the Ethereum difficulty bomb? I don't know anything about it. What is that? NOS is the same color as Viagra. Yep, same. they do the same thing just for one for a car and one for people, I guess, right? They make them take off. Um, Ethereum difficulty bomb? What is this? What is what is this difficulty bomb? Casper, a proof of, a proof of stake system. Its developers are now in the throes of completing. While this may sound like a slight change to those who are unfamiliar, altering this one parameter will have an outsized effect. When the protocol change happens, the Ethereum blockchain will hard fork, meaning that for a short period of time, two networks, the old and new, will exist simultaneously. At that point, the goal for Ethereum will be to, to persuade the majority of its users to upgrade to the new proof-of-stake powered blockchain. Otherwise, Ethereum risks winding up creating another blockchain, as it did when the past... Things will get better. Tim H, things will get better with the $10 US donation. That wasn't even Canadian maple syrup money. That was just straight US money. And uh, yeah, I believe things will get better. Um, definitely. Uh, but it, I don't know what's this going on. The proof of stake. I know they've been talking about proof of stake for a long time. Um, but by the way, thank you for that $10, Tim. Tim's rocking it out. Tim, when when you get in a 2080, man? time bomb but two things could go wrong ethereum's big switch one if casper does not work as planned in this case ethereum could simply delay switch over 
The second is if miners continue mining the old chain, but Ethereum has always had that plan for that. Something called the difficulty bomb. Baked into Ethereum shortly after network launch, the difficulty bomb was created to make mining a block increasingly difficult over time. The slowdown is set to happen gradually at first, but will spike upwards after the launch of Casper. Did you take my drink? <laughs> when mining requires more work, miners are not able to produce as many blocks. The block time gets longer, and as a result, miners earn less and less revenue. Eventually, the network becomes unusable. That is the plan, at least. Oh, my goodness. I did not know that. That is news to me. So it looks like we'll be having to switch over to proof of stake and probably not mining Ethereum anymore. As that happens, you know what? We'll uh, evolve and, and um, adapt and mine something else, I guess. So, let's see here. Robert Burns, uh, 71C on a RX 480. What power are you running? What temp does your 1080 run at? Too divine. I can actually look it up. I can show you all what my 1080s are running at. 1080 rig. My 1080s are, the first one's a 1070. That's at, the 1070 is at 58. The 1080s are at 68, 62, 56, and, 50, and 69. Sorry. Now my 580s are at 64, 61, 61, 67, and 58. And my 570s are at 59, 70, 59, 71, and 70. So I try to keep all my stuff under 70C. That's the goal here. So difficulty bomb sounds pretty bad, guys. Look for the article posted August 10th. When was this posted? This was posted April. Oh, so this is this is an old article. August 10th. May August 10th. Um, well, the hard fork will occur in September. We're in August. A hard date has not been fixed for Serenity's lease. Final doom in terms of significant delays between blocks will occur in 2021. I don't know. You know what? When they go proof of stake, we'll deal with it then. Uh, until then... It's, it is what it is. Let's get back to that. Well, I'm not thirsty anyway. Uh, let's see here. Hi, crypto coin lady. Oh, you missed her. She's gone. Hey, Mrs. B, before you came in the room, Brandon was wa <laughs> Hey, Razor. Get out of here with that. Power stage 3, 900 undervolt on the 480. Hmm. I'm running 900 undervolt and power stage 5 on my 570s. Uh, so, what actual card is that? What cooler is on it? Jeff Bond, sorry for the bad news. I've been considering ETH Classic. I am thinking with the ETH difficulty bomb, Classic might go up. And as you guys say, this isn't financial advice. Of course, Jeff Bonds. Um, I bought a little bit of ETH Classic when it was uh, down, I don't know, a couple days ago. No, maybe a week ago. Uh, and I'm thinking of potentially... Uh, Merge or putting about half of my farm on ETH Classic and leaving half of it on Ethereum. Um, I just don't want to put, you know, I'm, I'm nervous about ETH Classic. I'm glad they got added to Coinbase, it gives them a whole lot more legitimacy and like mainstream, but um, I don't know. I'm just worried it might not turn into anything. Geez, you get 170 mega hash with 1080. I'm doing something wrong then. I don't get 170 mega hash with dual 1080s. No, 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 no. That was um, that was probably like five 1080s. I was getting, I get a 35 mega hash per 1080. Load up on ETH and ETC. Uh, XFX RX 488 gig has the vacuum cooler with black casting around it. Robert Burns, have you tried? Um, I know I have a rig right here next to me that runs a little warm. So I literally just have like a little plug-in fan and. When I go to bed at night, I kind of just point this at it. I have it on low, and just move, this fan moving a little bit of air across it makes a huge difference in temperatures. Gets that hot air away from it. 
You might want to try that, Robert. No, no, no. Mine ETC don't buy it. Roger Crawford. We need an ETC pool on subscriber pool. Um, Mr. C, I think you heard it here first. Uh, Roderick says we need ETC pool on subscriber pool. I'd definitely be down for supporting that. And you know what? If we were actually, uh, if we put ET, you know, I'll say it now. If we put ETC on subscriber pool, I'll put my whole farm on it, which isn't much. I mean, I get like 600 mega hash on Ethereum, um, but I would definitely be down for that. Just to help support the subscriber pool to begin with. I auto switch ETH coins and trade it for all for regular Ethereum. Let's see here. Load up on BTCC. If people are looking at the now with their coin, it will only be a little bit of pocket money. If you're lucky, keep for the future. That's what we're trying to do, Mr. Razor. Jeff Bonds, totally agree with you. Mixed emotions about ETH and ETC. I, I definitely do. I, I'm, I don't know. You know, I... At this moment, I feel like holding anything is better than selling off because we're just way too low. So I just want to make sure I'm holding enough of, of everything. I have ETH and BTC. Not sure about other stuff to, ho to hodl. YouTube watcher. I think the more you can hodl, uh, like I like to tell people the shotgun method, so to speak, um, you're, you're more likely to hit something with a shotgun than a sniper rifle. But man, if you hit it with a sniper rifle, you'll knock it out of the park. So it just depends on how risky, how ballsy you are. Um, I'm definitely a shotgun method kind of guy. I'm, I got bird shot in there, and I'm I got a widespread. Uh, so yeah, please talk to Rob about the ETC pool, Mr. C. It's difficult to say the least. Oh, if it's if it's difficult and I can't get some people to actually agree to jump on it, because we would need a good amount of hash power to even be competitive. Um, let's look at a ETC. Explorer, wait, wait, wait. ETC Explorer. Uh, there is. Oh my God, thirteen thousand giga hash on the network. <whistles> Holy smokes! ADA over ETH, ETC. I will put one giga hash on it. Let me know when. Vivit Crypt Mining. Viv, Viv Crypt Mining. Jeff Carr, thank you for subscribing. Um, well, uh, that's... I, can we be competitive with that? Those ASICs coming online for ETC. Robert Burns. Is that what they... Are there ASICs on Ethereum Classic right now? I'm coming. Sorry for the delay. Do you want the thumb? Alex HD. Um, I got it. I'll be messaging you on, um, you know, the place with the stuff in the messages. Alex, thank you. DTech, thank you for the Discord link. And guys, just to remind you, that Discord link he's posting, that's where, um, that's kind of like the inner circle, so to speak. We got a lot of guys on there with a lot of experience. If you can't figure something out, I'm sure somebody in there has ran into that issue. Uh, and we're always in there. So after the live streams, before the live streams, every single night, um, we're in there talking, kind of going over stuff, having a good time. Uh, it's definitely a relaxed kind of atmosphere where, you know, there's no there's no payment to get in. It's free. Just uh, be nice and respectful, and you'll have a good time. Um, but we are halfway through our live stream, and then uh, after that, we will be jumping back in the Discord. Check a mining calculator for block profitability at Bitcoin Jake. ETC mining calculator. Let's see here. ETH hat. Winbert KV has subscribed. Thank you for the subscription, brother. ETH has ASICs are out. E3 ASIC ETH hash algo is now supported. Please check each pool's instruction page, mining pool hub page. Mmm, interesting, interesting. Um, what are we looking at on the calculator here? Who told me to do that? Do one point giga hash for now, I guess. One point six giga hash. One point six. Well, I mean power consumption. That we're just gonna leave that off of there. What? What? Why, why is it zero? 
Mega hash one six zero zero. Is it broken? Did I break it? I don't. I don't understand. I don't zero out everything. I don't normally use crypto compare. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on with this calculator. I'm gonna go to a different one. I'm gonna go to like what to mine. I mean what to mine's got it going on, right? Uh YouTube watcher Brandon Coin, have you heard of of mines? It's like a YouTube but you get paid ETH to post content and stuff. I have not mines. Mines. ETC. I have not heard of mines, uh, but I'm afraid just to type that in. Is there a website? What is the website? Mines.io. So one six zero zero sixteen hundred mega hash. A thirty three dollars a day. So my whole farm on it, six hundred mega hash, is gonna be oh my god, twelve fifty a day. And a giga hash on it. Twenty bucks a day. Whew. Minds.com. Let me uh I'm gonna do that off stream just in case. Somebody's posted some bad stuff. Okay, the crypto social network. This is interesting. Channels, videos. So it's kind of like a D-tube. Gosh, that was loud. Unbelievable. Close one. That music. It's got 102 likes. That's cool. What is this? Lightning bolts. 900 plays. I like that it says that. That's one thing I don't like about D-tube is it doesn't tell you how many views stuff has. Okay, um, yeah, I'm going to save this, and uh, I'll sign up for it, and I'll give it a try. I'll post some stuff up there and see if it does anything. Haven't made an account or anything, just heard of it. YouTube watcher, thank you for the heads up. I, I, I'm willing to try anything. I, I still have a DTube account. I haven't posted to it nearly as much. Um, I don't like the fact that DTube is basically run by, um, like, robots and, like, all these, like, like upvote bots and stuff. I feel like that's kind of against what it's for. It's supposed to be like people helping the community out and actually watching videos. But instead, you post videos and hope like these robots will upvote your stuff. And you, you put power to this robot and power to that robot. And then it clicks on yours. And I'm just like, I'm, I, no. Like, it, it kind of it throws me off. Go play Crypto Minecraft. Uh, I don't know what Crypto Minecraft is. Any way to stack crypto is okay with me. Yes. C R Y Crypto Minecraft. What? Is this like Minecraft or is this like a coin? Crypto Network. Crypto, seventy five percent off sale now by prison release. It's offline. It's offline 30 days ago. What? What are y'all trying to get me to look up? Bitquest.co. Alright. I don't I'm gonna do this off screen. Bitquest.co. Uh, BitQuest. Welcome to the first Minecraft server denominated in cryptocurrency. Dogecoin. Bitcoin. The currency on the server are bits. The bit is a fraction of a Bitcoin. Level system is different than a vanilla server. You gather experience from killing mobs. Has never lost. Your XP allows you to become stronger and gain extra health. BitQuest is made of having concept of fun. Bots and AFK farming are strictly banned. Oh, that's kind of cool. They, like, have it all um, done up and so you'll be buying and selling in uh, Bitcoin. And uh, I guess they have a Dogecoin one, too. 
I, you know what? Any any support, whether it be you know grassroots gaming, any kind of support like that is uh, that's awesome. I'd like to see some more screenshots. I'm not a big like Minecraft guy. I bought it and I have it somewhere. I probably need to log back into my account and re-download it. Killing monsters. Let's see here. Um, okay, so it looks like it's just a modified a modified Minecraft Minecraft, I guess. Spartan Mining got 15 GPUs running on the Asus H370. Um, let me go back to this home page. I'm not, bam, done. All right, guys, you might see me doing a little little live streaming on some some uh, BitQuest later. Uh, I apologize ahead of time. Brandon, how many mega hash are you getting on the RX 580? My 580s get about 30 to 31 uh, stable. So um, I call it a 31 because I have a couple 580s that are a little stronger and they can get 31 and a half. Um, so yes, I'll 31. Winvert KV, what Brandon? What is your views on GPU mining when comparing the older Vega 56 cards to the new NVIDIA 2000 series? Will the 2000 series be the top card? I think that's everybody's thing on their mind. Um, well, let me let me take a drink real quick. Mm-hmm. NVIDIA is pushing a lot of this Tensor technology, Tensor cores and all kinds of tracing and stuff. I'm going to be honest, whenever I go to an artist and I want them to draw something, I don't want them to trace it. Okay? I want it free-handed. So, I don't know. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. It actually doesn't. But, yeah, the, the new NVIDIA cards are probably going to knock it out of the park. Um, even if it's a 20% jump, I mean, that's... It's a 20% jump. Uh, you know, they're claiming a lot more, but um, only time will tell. Hopefully, uh, some people will get their, these hands on these cards here soon. You know? Razor Gaming. No, those are not BIOS modded, but they are uh, Sapphire Nitro Plus 580s that do like 30 mega hash out of the box. You got to make sure they're the V2, though, the newest release. Or you can get these 580s right here. And these will do 29 to 30 out of the box too, because they have a dual BIOS on them. You flip the switch, there's a mining BIOS. You flip the other, you flip it the other way, and it's a gaming BIOS. That's why I recommended these for 250. Roderick, those new dual Vegas may give us upwards of 80 mega hash. The problem I had with the Vegas, it, for some reason, it just felt like um, it felt like the whole community and the mining as a whole um, didn't really attack the Vegas. A lot of people jumped on them for what kryptonite and doing a little bit of Ethereum mining, but it didn't. It just they don't seem very versatile. Um, they seem very very specifically like good at one thing or two things. Um, I don't have any Vegas, so I hate to like bash on them or do anything like that because they're really good cards. Especially the 56 seem to be the sweet spot. 64 seem a little overpriced for what they give, but right now, I mean, nothing's doing great. John Mock, those will do 31 out of the box. Are you talking about the XFX Radions? The dual BIOS ones? Awesome. Vegas are hair dryers, YouTube watcher. Um, that's how I feel about my R9 290X. That thing's a hair dryer, too. I'm being healthy right now, guys. I'm eating a Nature's Valley. This is not sponsored by them, but Nature's Valley. Hit me up because I'll eat your your nasty, healthy bars if you want me to. You know, I'll eat that because I'm eating it right now for free. Well, actually, I paid you to eat it. So hit me up, Nature's Valley. Team No Vega. John Mock. Yes. Spartan Mining Miners Guild. Yep, I'd hold up the sticker, but I'm not going to now. Uh, Flash is 64 BIOS on a 56. It's overclock. It overclocks them, and they run like a demon. Interesting. YouTube watcher, I have not heard that people are flashing 64 BIOS on a 56. I didn't know that was possible, but 
I don't have a Vega, so I don't really look into it. You know what I mean? Old dude Puxer agrees. 1070 is the jack of all trades. Yes, William, Mr. Dunn. 1070 is the sweet spot right now for the 10 series. And uh, I think following suit over to the 20 series, either the 60 or the 70, 2060 or 2070, is probably going to be the sweet spot on those cards too. At Bitcoin Jake, if you play Minecraft, the Doge server is more active and I play on that more also right now. I help with the open source Java codes for the plugins for BitQuest. At Bitcoin Jake, um, I'll probably slightly forget about this conversation right now uh, because we got 20 minutes left on the live stream. But if you could message me on Discord, and uh, I'd like to get in there and get a little bit of help getting started. Um, just because I'm very green with Minecraft, but I, I, heck, I'd like to make a video on it, make a, make a little, uh, have a little fun, see how bad I am. Robert Burns, my 1070s are pulling 31 mega hash right now on Ethereum. Happy with them? They stay under 60C. Robert Burns, 1070s are awesome little cards. Thank you, Bitcoin Jake. B -b 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 Let's see here. Okay, I have healthiness right here, and I, I keep reaching over here because I got like a, like a tube of Pringles. But the tubes, it's empty. It's got little crumbs in it. I'll get the crumbs later. Um, I didn't bring enough snacks for the live stream. That's the problem. Got to be fully snacked up. <laughs> Viewer warned: No products in this video were used on animals. Correct. That is correct. Arstein just got in the stream. What is Ether One? I am mining Ether One currently. Uh, let's go to Ether One's website. Ether One. Uh, there it is. Ether One dot org. Um, Ether One. Somebody told me about this. I don't know a lot about the actual coin on the back end. Um, proof of work. No ICO. No pre mine. Application specific. Master nodes. End to end decentralized hosting. I do know that they do. They are on an exchange. Um, it's on the stocks exchange so you can actually sell off your coin you're not just stuck with it waiting for them to get listed um, I am using um, sexy pool and that's actually the name of the pool uh, let's see here ether one yeah all right here it is etho.pool.sexy um, and enter your address all right, I'd look mine up right now, but I don't have it up in front of me. But uh, I'm going to be doing a video on that, uh, kind of recap 24 hours and maybe a seven day and uh, see how profitable it is because right now it's currently the most profitable thing for 1052 gigs by far. By far, Mr. Arstein. Hope that hope that answers it for you. It's a uh, ETH, ETH hash algorithm that the DAG file is... Um, not over two gigs, so you can mine it on two gig and three gig cards, no problem. YouTube watcher after successfully flashing Vega 56 with Vega 64 BIOS, performance tests show that the latter being just two percent slower than a Vega 64. Oh man, that's awesome! What's the price of Ether One, Mr. C? Actually, Mr. C, we may be able to get this on subscriber pool because the uh, Ether One network. Is not huge I think the price was like four cents when I was looking at it earlier um, yeah 4.1 cents and um, if we look at the ether one Explorer there is currently a hundred and sixty giga hash on their network so I know we, we can uh, we could probably uh, get some people on there mr. C we're, we're working together live action by the way guys mr. C is an undercover undercover brother helping he, helping everybody out he is one of the guys over at the subscriber pool awesome guy if you ever need any help you can ask him I don't know if he'll help you I think he will he always helps me he helps everybody else out so I want to see why not and he does accept uh, he, he does accept um, Bitcoin and ethereum I think he's got a really cheap rate, like 50, 50 coins an hour or something. Tech rate. 
Uh, yeah, so Ether1, that may be a better option than going to ETC for the subscriber pool. Something we could be competitive on the hash rate with. And that way I could get off of Sexy Pool. Nothing against Sexy Pool. I just, I don't know. Everybody asks, oh, what pool you might I'm mining on, you know, I'm mining on Sexy Pool. And they're like, what? What are you doing over there? I'm like, I don't know. Stuff and things. Um, I'd put a rig on Ether1 on sub pool. Robert Burns need to pay some power bills. Actually, yeah, here, I'll show you. Ugh, I'll show you what my 1050s. Sorry about that. Sorry. I'll show you what my 1050s look like mining Ether1. It looks like Ethereum. Uh, so here's my Octaminer. It's got 1052 gigs in it. And if you look right there, I'm getting between 12.9 to 13 mega hash on all my 1052 gigs. Uh, the overclocks I'm running is 150 core, 300 memory. I could probably be more aggressive on that. They're each running at 50 watts a piece, which is super low wattage. Uh, and then the console, look look at that. It looks just like Ethereum. It's using Claymore. Like, we're doing stuff and things. Uh, let's see here. Need to pay some power bills. Get it on pool and we'll get some. Mr. C, you're a... That's not nice. Uh, Mr. C, you can't have... M <laughs> yeah. Yep. Have any Shaw 256 hashes? Uh, I, I... I don't know. On the, Are you talking about on the subscriber pool? Or are you talking about me? I don't have any Shaw 256 uh, miners or ASICs. Better than kitty pool. Yeah, it's true. Just some random crap. Hey, Jake slash Ron Apple. 2080 Ti, 150 mega hash, surfing. I think you're looking, I think from the consensus of a lot of people, 2080 Ti is going to be in the 100 mega hash range, not the 150 range. Wait, what, who? I don't, I don't know what you're talking about there, Jake. Jake at State Farm. But guys, we're coming up on uh, 48 minutes out of the 60 minute live stream. So we have less than 15 minutes till I have to quit talking to myself. At least that's what my girlfriend thinks. Uh, but I'm talking to you guys, all, all the fam, the crypto fam out there. Um, you just reminded me to pay the power bill. YouTube watcher, you got to pay that power bill, man. They will cut that off. Let's see here. It's the name, Mr. C. Oh, okay, I don't know. Y'all talk having your own conversation over there. But anyway, Ether1, that video will be dropping soon. I'm going to talk to Mr. C after the fact because uh, I don't want to go necessarily promote somebody else's pool if we're going to be adding it to our community pool. If that's the case, then the video might take a, might take a couple more days. But um, it's looking pretty good on the 1052 gigs. I'm surprised these things are pulling 12 to 13 mega hash. Uh, I was talking to Frankie two times, which he's actually... Um, I'm going to order a Pro Duo Spartan Mining. Awesome. Let me touch it. But uh, I was talking to Frankie two times. He has his 970s. He put those on uh, Ether1. And since they're a, they're only a 3 gig card and they can't do Ethereum, or he said he can't, they can't do them on Windows 10 at least, uh, they were pulling around 9 to 10 mega hash, 9 to 10 mega hash on um, Ether1, which is not great, but it gives them some sort of utility because right now they're they're kind of falling off. Mr. C, oh, hope you're, you're not talking to me. DTech, come join us in the Discord. Thank you for the Discord link. That is the official Brandon Coin Spartan Mining Community Discord. We will be there after the live stream in uh, 10, 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. Um, and you know what, guys? I just wanted to go ahead. I'll bring up the actual Discord, uh, and I'll bring up the, the rig challenge uh, section. Because I wanted to go over and, and show you guys some approved rigs. There won't be any voting ready until after the 25th. So people still have another four days to enter into the $500 rig giveaway. Or $500 rig challenge. Uh, the giveaway for the winner is a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 580 8GB. This is a special edition. Um, this was put up courtesy of SG Crypto Rigger. So whoever wins will win this. Uh, it's going to be a community vote. The voting will start on the 26th through the 30th, and then the be the first day of the next month is when we'll announce the winner. But I want to go through and just um, pull up some people that have already entered. 
and uh, we can kind of review it and check it out with the live stream. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Maybe, maybe not. Let's see here. And the rules are at the top. So if you join the Discord, then go all the way down and look for $500 USD rig challenge. Uh, Brandon Coin, who's that guy? Uh, welcome to the $500 budget mining rig challenge. Rules, total budget $500. $100 minimum must be used for the rig build, but you can use some of the GPU budget. But you can use some of the GPU. Uh, oh, yeah. So, okay, you minimum have to use $100 for your actual, like, motherboard, CPU, that kind of stuff. So that, you know... You can't really cheat and be like, oh, I have a free computer. I mean, you can, but we just wanted to make it, like, obviously, it's going to take 100 bucks for, you know, risers, motherboard, CPU, frame, that kind of stuff, your hard parts. Then 400 bucks for GPUs. If you need to go over 100 for your actual system, so be it. Um, you, can you can use already owned old hardware, just go off eBay used prices. Correct. So if you have an old desktop and it's worth, like, 50 bucks on eBay, you can say, oh, I got that for, you know, 50 bucks. But um, using the, oh, I had it for free, like, let's try to be fair, because not everybody just has free equipment laying around. Um, you can buy new new components if needed, example, risers, because most people don't have used risers just laying around everywhere. Um, let's see here. Uh, the contest ends 825. Community voting is from 826 to 830. That's what I was just talking about earlier. And the winner is announced 9-1-2018. No spam or chit chat in this channel. There's actually a lot of spam and chit chat that I need to clean up in here. This is the application you'll use, so it'll have like a breakdown of everything. But um, let's go down here to Rick Dog. He actually submitted his. Uh, it's 1150 Ti 4 gig and 1150 2 gig. $450 running nice hash, echo hash. He's getting 137 hashes and dagger. He's getting 11.2. So that's the 1050 Ti. That's the 1050 2 gig. There is uh, his picture of his actual rig, and you must write your like name, the uh, your Discord name, and the date on it, just so we know it is yours. Um, and then a um, a breakdown like digitally, uh, so device manager or something like that to show what's inside of it. He just did that. I think that's from the Nvidia control panel or something. But uh, awesome little setup. That's a perfect example of what to do to as an entry. So Rick Dog got it. Uh, Stronghold, he actually knocked it out of the park and he did a video. Um, so he did a video overviewing it and that kind of thing. I, you know what? We'll watch it now. Watch it live. $500 rig challenge. Boom. Stronghold all challenge. seven. Okay, guys, these are my two graphics cards. Or two of my graphics cards. Two GTX 1050s, Gigabyte, two gigs. Uh, I bought a brand new on Amazon for $139 a piece. Alright guys, here it is. Uh, used GTX 1050 Ti. Open up Nice Ash. Alright. So he's got that all going. Another good entry. Uh, let's see here. JT7. Seven, five, five application. Uh, here's his rig, rig build. He did it actually out of PVC pipe over top of the old desktop. I thought that was really cool. And he put his JT755, the actual you know name and that kind of stuff. So we have a lot. Oh, look at it. Look at Trimac posting a, a picture of his like Discord photo and everything. Look at him. Dog, he thinks he's got it. He thinks he's got it on lock. Awesome, guys. Um, I'm just excited to, to see what people are going to gonna do um, let's see your ABC one two three he made a video going over it all videos are completely fine Nicolay Nicolay I need to get up with him because we're it looks like we're missing a lot of information there oh that wasn't it okay day they use there's his setup so it looks like two graphics cards one slammed on the motherboard a sketchily looking 630 watt power supply that's upside down. Turtle coin, cost of the rig. So awesome guys, we got a lot of participation on this. Trivium, here's his setup. Um, I'm excited, I'm gonna clean all this up before we actually go live for the voting and I'll explain how the voting's gonna work. Um, me and Spartan Mining are gonna have one vote a piece. Our vote is only gonna count for one, just like everybody else's. Uh, but then everybody in the Discord is actually going to vote too. So, um, yeah.
Hopefully, uh, may the best man win. And the thing is, you don't have to vote for the highest efficiency rig or the best looking rig. It's just, what do you think is the best rig? Like, if you had to pick one out of all of them to buy or accept, which one would it be? Can I sell myself some 1080 Ti's for $50 each? R. Steen, we're going off of eBay used values. So, uh, if you get a good deal on something, that's okay. But if it's like sketchy like that, a 1080 Ti for 50 each, no, that's uh, just you know it's it's not fair to the to the the cause. I got motherboard case RAM CPU for 40 grams of silver and a used GTX 680 for 60. 40 grams of silver? What? Send them to me, my rig. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's see here. Are you furthering the GPU agenda? I don't know what agenda there is for GPUs right now. Um, and I, I don't necessarily mean to further it, but we're just having a good time, you know? Uh, trying to give back to the community and get a little bit of involvement. Never hurt anybody. So if you don't want to miss out on future uh, giveaways and competitions, which actually the next one, I'm not going to announce what it is. Spartan Mining, no, me and you cannot enter the competition. But... Spartan Mining is hosting the next competition for a giveaway uh, and uh, well, giveaway competition thing, challenge, whatever you want to call it. Um, and that's going to be after we announce the winner of this one. So, yeah, you heard it here first, guys. You heard it here first, but I didn't tell you. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? See, I can look, look at this. Hold on. Uh heard a turd burglar he is definitely a turd burglar we got him we got him guys don't tell him don't tell him uh, let's see here can I uh, 15 GPUs I gotta go check out your 15 GPU video nice old school gamers X well, guys, we are tailing off to the end of our 60 minutes together that we spend daily. Well, okay, week daily, Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hopefully early enough that it doesn't get the younger folks in trouble and not too late that the older folks are still awake. Um, so, thank you. Thank you, one. Thank you, all. Tim, thank you for the $10 donation. Um... Posted pick of 40 grams silver rig, silver and rigs. At Bitcoin Jake, I'll definitely check it out. <laughs> William DeWar with the $20 of US currency coming in hot. Zebra Cake Fund. William, how did you know? How did you know I've been zebra caking it up? I've been zebra cakes for days, man. Actually, I need to go. I need to go load up on some more zebra cake. So awesome! Good show, Brandon. Great info, Charlie. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. Enrique, hi, Brandon. What do you think about the technicals pool? Say about GPU mining is die. Um, everybody's got their own opinion. I don't think anything's dying right now. We know we may not be doing good. You know, we're skinned and bruised up, but we're gonna heal, be stronger. I hope <laughs> you know uh, Spartans challenge kill five bee men and roam the forest for a week naked <laughs> oh. oh yeah that'd be a Spartan challenge right there love zebra cakes old school gamer X and William I love them yes zebra cakes are the bomb see you in discord old dude pugster I'll see ya heading out Sorry I'm late to the show, Eric Vigor. We are actually like 30 seconds away from ending it, but you can catch it after the fact because it will be reposting. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes to process. Put the sunglasses back on as your outro. All right, we only have like 20 seconds left, so. Guys, thank you for tuning in. This is, uh, let me blow the screen up there. This is Brandon on Brandon Coin. Host of uh, Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I blanked out. I don't know what I was saying. Thank you for tuning in, and um, see you over here. I 
I wanted to tell, show y'all guys. I got me a candle, right? Every time we have a green day of mining, I'm going to light the candle and let it burn while I'm sitting here on live stream, of course. Actually, hold on. Can y'all see this if I put it right here? Oh, dang. It needs to be like right here. Maybe right here. I was going to say, every day we got green, we're going to let her burn. And I'm going to blow it out at the end of the live stream. It smells good, though. But, um, and for days that we're not green, she don't get the light. We're not lit. We're not lit. Today we're lit, guys. But not, not lit tomorrow. So, thank you guys for watching. I need to get off here before I keep on rambling. But if you do want to hear me ramble some more, come over to the Discord. Uh, D-Tech posted the link up above. So, we have a lot of chat rooms. You can come in there. Just keep it... Keep it a uh, PG-13, and uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Adios, everybody. We're still live right now. Witchcraft. Let that MF burn. Yes. GPU mining is dead. Some of your cards. MFSVH. Yeah. Yeah. Candle may last. <laughs> oh, dude. Bucks. That candle may last a while. No, I'm, I'm planning on burning this candle down. Forget that candle, man. You're trying to get us in trouble. Peace out, guys. Adios. <laughs> Who's still here? There's 55 people here. It's over. It went black. What are y'all doing? Get off. Go to the Discord. Enter the $500 rig challenge. Do something. 55 people. What are y'all doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Noise. I just realized my the inside of my Yeti koozie is disgusting. Holy smokes. I need to clean that thing. Nah, I need to put another Mountain Dew in it is what I need. Alright. Peace out. Can still hear it. What can you still hear? Ha. Ah, Peekaboo. What if, I, what if I like legitimately one day forgot to turn off the live stream and then I just like walk off and y'all are like watching the dog in the back. Actually the, the dog isn't here. Encore. No we're not encoring. I'm going over to Discord. Adios guys. Later.